What's up guys? Welcome back sa ating channel. Again, this is your math teacher, Sir Gaor. Ready na po ba tayong matuto ng isang panibagong math lesson? So kung ready na, today we'll be studying standard form to slope intercept form. So kung mapapansin nyo, ito naman yung kabaligdaran nung pinag-aralan natin before. Before we studied about how to change a slope intercept form to standard form. But this time, we will be changing a standard form to slope intercept form. So, kung nagustuhan nyo yung video na to at sa tingin nyo meron kayo natutunan, you may like the video, comment in the comment section, and also please subscribe para doon sa mga hindi pa natin subscribers. Let us now have our drill. We are asked to solve for the value of y in each equation. So, halos kagaya lang ito nung previous drill natin. Kaya lang, ang pagkakaiba lang, this time, uh, puro y lang yung ating variable. Okay? So, good luck! These are the correct answers for our drill. I hope you got a perfect score of 5. Pero kung hindi man po, review yung ating mga solutions. So, para alam natin kung saan part tayo palaging nagkakamali, at maikokorek na natin yon next time. Let us recall formation of linear equations in two variables. The first one is the standard form. In standard form, we have ax plus by equals c. So, ang sinasabi lang po sa standard form, yung may variable na x at may variable na y ay nasa isang side ng equation. Normally, nasa left side sila. Tapos, yung constant naman or yung number lang ay nasa right side naman. Okay, so let's have some examples. Number 1, 3x plus 7y equals negative 4. Can you identify the coefficients? Okay, the coefficients are 3 and 7. What about the constant? The constant is negative 4. Let's have another one. Number 2, 6x plus Minus y equals 8. What do you think are the coefficients? Of course, they are 6 and negative 1. What about the constant? The constant is 8. Okay, so let's have the other one. Slope intercept form. In slope intercept form, it is y equals mx plus b. Okay, so always remember sa slope intercept form, naka-isolate yung y. Isolated na si y. Kapag isolated na si y, Yung numerical coefficient ni x, ang tawag na sa kanya ay m, which is also called the slope. While yung constant, yun yung b, and then it is also considered as the y-intercept. Let's go to the examples. For example, number 1, y equals negative 5x plus 7. Can you identify the slope? Of course, the slope is negative 5. What about the y-intercept? It is... 7. Another example, y equals x minus 12. What do you think is the slope? The slope is 1. 1 is the numerical coefficient of x. What about the y-intercept? Of course, it is negative 12. Okay, last time we have discussed how to solve from standard form or how to transform a standard form to slope-intercept form of a linear equation into variables. While this time, we will discuss from slope-intercept form going back to standard form. Let us proceed to our examples. Change the following linear equations in the form y equals mx plus b and identify the slope and the y-intercept. Always remember that y equals mx plus b is also the slope-intercept form. Okay, so ang gagawin lang talaga natin dito, ia-isolate lang natin yung y. So, y lang dapat mag-isa sa isang side ng equation, wala siyang numerical coefficient, at wala ring negative sign. So, dapat positive y ang may iwan. Let's have number 1. 3x plus y equals 7. Okay, so 3x plus y equals 7. If we are going to analyze, ano dyan yung dapat maalis para maiwan lang mag-isa yung y? So, we have to remove 3x. Okay, to remove 3x, we will just get its additive inverse or yung opposite. 
na, na, nasabi na rin natin ito sa ating previous video. So, para magtanggal tayo ng gusto nating term, kukuha ni lang natin yung kanyang additive inverse. Okay? So, so tapos, i-add natin sa magkabilang side. So, what is the additive inverse of 3x? Of course, that is negative 3x. So, therefore, we just need to add negative 3x on both sides of the equation. Okay, so ayan, nilagyan na natin ng space para doon sa paglalagyan natin ng negative 3x. We will add negative 3x on the left side and also at the right side. Okay, so let's now combine similar terms. For the left side, negative 3x plus 3x, ang magiging result nun ay, of course, 0. So, tanggal na yung 3x sa left side. And then, y na lang ang natira. So, therefore, we will, have, we will now have y equals negative 3x plus 7. Therefore, that equation is an equation in slope-intercept form. So, nagawa na natin yung gusto nating mangyari na ma-isolate natin itong variable na y. Okay. Therefore, our slope now is negative 3, yung numerical coefficient ni x, and yung, yung y-intercept natin ay 7. And that is, those are our answers. Let's now go to example number 2. We have 6x minus 9y equals negative 5. Remember, we have to put this in y equals mx plus b or slope-intercept form. Analyzing the equation, what do you think is the first one to be removed? Of course, that is 6x. And how can we remove 6x? We can remove it by adding negative 6x on both sides of the equation. We have negative 6x on the left side and we will add negative 6x on the right side. Now we can combine similar terms. Combining negative 6x and positive 6x, it will produce 0. So therefore, we'll have now negative 9y equals negative 6x minus 5. What do you think is the next one to be removed? Of course, that is negative 9. How can we remove negative 9? By dividing each term by negative 9. We will divide negative 9 on each term. Okay, so makakancel na siya. Therefore, we now have 1 on numerator and 1 on the denominator. So therefore, we have already isolated y. Cancel. 6 divided by 3 is 2, while 9 divided by 3 is 3. Therefore, we have now 2 thirds. And the literal coefficient x, negative divided by negative will produce positive. So therefore, we have now positive 5 ninths. So therefore, this is now an equation in slope-intercept form. Let's identify the slope. The slope is, of course, 2 thirds. And the y-intercept is 5 ninths. So therefore, these are our answers. Let's now go to example number 3. We have 5x plus 3y minus 18 equals 0. It is given in general form. Again, we have to put it in y equals mx plus b or the slope-intercept form. Analyzing the equation, what do you think are we going to remove first? We can remove 5x, but simultaneously, we can also remove negative 18. So therefore, what do you think are we going to add? We can add negative 5x and positive 18 on both sides of the equation. We'll add negative 5x and positive 18 on the left side, and also negative 5x and positive 18 on the right side. Now we can combine similar terms. 5x minus 5x, it will produce 0, while negative 18 plus 18 will also have 0. And now we are left with 3y. And 3y is equal to 5x plus 18. Analyzing this one, what do you think are we going to remove now? We can remove 3. And how are we going to remove that 3? We can remove it by dividing each term by 3. Divide each term by 3. Okay, so we can cancel now 3. 
and we will left with y. Negative 5x over 3 is still negative 5 thirds x and 18 over 3 18 divided by 3 is 6 while 3 divided by 3 is 1 so 6 over 1 or simply 6. So now we have an equation in slope intercept form. Let's identify the slope. The slope is negative 5 thirds while the y intercept is 6. So therefore, these are our answers. It is now time for you to practice what you have learned. So let's go to our try this. In our try this, you'll just need to complete the given table below. Okay, good luck! If you are done, let's check our answers. These are the correct answers for our try this. I, go, I hope you got a perfect score of 15. If not, pakireview na lang po yung inyong mga answers para alam natin kung saan tayo nagkakamali at may iwasan na yon next time. And I hope to see you again in our next videos. What's up guys? Bye!